Payday 3 is out and it's starting to grow a modding community of its own. Obviously nowhere near Payday 2 just yet, but one of the first few mods that people are enjoying is the ability to skip the intro cutscene, disclaimer, etc. and get to the game a heck of a lot faster. No more waiting for unskippable cutscenes, etc. We can get straight to the main menu pretty much instantly. In the description down below you'll find two links. The first, taking you to the skip intro cutscenes mod hosted on Mod Workshop. Net. This has three video files, which is basically all of the startup video files, and we can download it by clicking download here. No account needed, no nothing, and opening it up, you can see these three files here that we can replace the existing ones in the game folder to simply skip through them. They're essentially just empty video files, so they'll be skipped through super quickly. That being said, these are the only ones that are replaced, and should you want to speed up the game a little bit more, you'll find another link in the description down below to the no intro videos fix hosted on Nexus Mods. This one, however, needs an account, but it is free. When you get here, click the Files tab right over here, then Manual Download, Slow Download, and assuming you aren't already logged in, you'll need to log in now. Once it's done downloading, you'll find a README practically telling us the same stuff, and inside of the Payday 3 folder, Payday 3, Content, Movies, we have these three files that we saw previously, but we also have all of these ones here, Loading Screens, and a Payday 3 Splash Screen Intro. Not too sure what these ones do or what they replace, but should you want it, you can get them here. Anyways, what do we do with these files that we've downloaded, either the Nexus Mods version or the Mod Workshop version? Well, all we need to do is navigate across to our Payday 3 installation folder, Content, and Movies. So on Steam, locate the game, right-click, Manage, and click Browse Local Files. This will take us straight to where the game is installed, where we can open Payday 3, Content, Movies, and drag and drop those video files into here. So simply doing this. We can always verify the game later to bring back the original files, but of course if you wish, you can instead move these ones to, say, an old folder, and replace them as such, just making sure you're not actually deleting anything, etc. All the files need to still be here, even if they are replaced with empty copies. Alright, so this splash screen intro, which is in this Nexus Mods version here, replaced with an empty video, is this little video over here, which you've probably seen when starting up the game. It's just a few seconds, but it allows us to skip that too. If you have it on the Xbox Game Pass, instead open up the Xbox app, then navigate across to Payday 3, click the three dots here, followed by Manage, then on the Files tab, select Browse. Once again, Payday 3, followed by Content, then Payday 3, Content once more, Movies, and we can replace the files in here. If for some reason you don't have permission to access these files, replace them, etc., we need to take ownership of this folder here, so the Movies folder. If you already have the Take Ownership Context Menu trick installed, you can right-click and take ownership. If you don't, simply open up a new PowerShell window as administrator, otherwise on Windows 11 open up Terminal, and just make sure you're using PowerShell, otherwise click the drop down and choose PowerShell here. Once you have a PowerShell window open, type in IEX space and inside of brackets irmto.tc.ht. tc.ht is my website and to is the take ownership script, which you can see the full source to by just navigating across to it in a browser to see exactly Exactly what it does. It's a simple script made by me to add that take ownership option. Everything is here and you can read through it to see if you'd like to run it. Essentially, it just adds that take ownership option to your context menu. I'll hit enter and we'll see this. I'll hit one to install it and add that option. You can always run it again and enter two instead to remove it later on. Anyways, simply right click the movies folder and take ownership. Click yes when prompted for admin. A window should pop up and vanish and you should have permission to edit or replace all of these files in here. So we can comfortably move these ones to, say, an old folder and replace them once more by dragging in these empty videos. Just like that, we've now skipped the intro. The same goes for the Epic Games version of the game, but I don't have the game there. For this, I'll show you, say, the Game Pass version. I'll just click play here. It'll fire up the game as usual. And instead of showing us the intro video, we're dropped straight into the screen. Press any key to continue after it eventually connects.
we're on the main menu straight away. It's a heck of a lot faster. The only thing really keeping us back is that Starbreeze Nebula login. But anyways, we're on the main menu a heck of a lot faster. If this is something you're interested in, you now know how to do it. It's super simple. And of course, it's the very humble beginnings to a hopefully long and prosperous modding future for Payday 3. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.